What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl Alyssa, and welcome or welcome back to the She Curry channel. Today, girl, we're getting into a new product, a new brow product, which I'm very excited to try out because I haven't really switched up my brow game in like mm, at least probably since 2019. I've been using the Benefit pencils for forever, but now we have a new product that we're going to try out. So if you are interested in seeing how this product works to slay these brows, girl. Then keep on watching. Okay, so today we have the new Benefit Pal Made. The Brow Pal Made. I have it in the shade 4 and 4.5. I'm going to try each shade on each eyebrow so you guys can see, you know, what it looks like. But this is Benefit's new um, bold and sculpted product. I have this little card here with a little bit of info. So the Pal Made is a full pigment brow pomade. Um, it's $20 and it feels, scopes, and defines the brows. 36 hour waterproof long wear. Now y'all know this is what we need because we don't really need our brows wiping off. We still kind of wear masks out here, depending on where you are, you know. We want our brows to be on grill. Built in brush wiper. So they're talking about the packaging, which we'll get into. And it's a creamy and buildable formula. And I also have the brush here, which is Benefit really, I mean, we know Benefit does the brows the best out here. So they um, have this brush, it's, it's really, really firm when it comes to an angle brush. So you can draw those hair-like strokes without the brush like bending. I've had some cheap angle brush shaft because you know we all started from the bottom, now we're here. Come on. And it does make a difference when you have a better angled brush, a nice thin and firm angle brush. So their dual ended angle eye brush retails for $18. Oh, and it's also available in eight shades. Oh, this is my first time opening it. Okay, Benefit Palmade Brow Pomade. They obviously are so creative with names, love it. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like, and this is this wiper that they're talking about. Pick up the product, ow, 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 and then you can just like wipe it off. Okay, that is very innovative. We love innovative packaging over here because I would usually, I used to use the top, and you used to just like ow, ow on the top, but now you can keep it all in the container and the product, that's great. This is the shade four. I'm usually in between 4 and 4.5. 4.5 really matches my hairs, but sometimes it gives me a bolder brow that I'm looking for on certain days when I'm just like doing my brow and don't have any like makeup on. So I love 4 as well. So 4.5 and 4. Oh, I love how you can see the difference in the colors. That's how you know it matters. I mean, they have eight shades of brow shades. Each of them has a different undertone. A little bit of different tone, a little lighter and darker. This four is a little bit warmer versus the 4.5 is a little bit more neutral, which we love. So yes, I'm gonna do 4.5 on the left brow and four on the right brow. Let's go ahead and start with four. But like I mentioned, this is my first time using this product. Very excited to try out. I do feel like a I was gonna say Palmade, because they did great with the branding. But a pomade, I think, is really good when you are getting that snatched brow makeup game on and you want to just really have, like, your brows on fleety fleek. Now, sometimes I like to go in and just groom my brows a bit. I haven't gone and gotten my brows done, y'all, in so long. I mean, I used to, like, thread it, and then once COVID hit, when nobody put nothing in their mouth and threaded me, I tell you that. So I've been just tweezing mine. Sometimes I'll get the um, razor when it's hard hair to me to get, but you know, that's how I keep my shape up. I just do it myself. Been doing it myself for a very long time. And these tweezers are by Revlon. They are very old. No um, logo is on them anymore because I've had these for a very long time, but I think I got them from Ulta. Okay. That's good enough for the cleanup. The product is um, not too stiff. I feel like I go into the product and it gets on the brush pretty easy. It's definitely necessary to have this, um, what are they calling it? Built-in brush wiper. Come on, brush wiper. This is four. Right, four warm, it says on the bottom, 4.5 neutral. I didn't even know that it said it on the bottom, but clearly you can look at the color and tell that. <laughs> This is definitely warmer, and that's a def that's definitely neutral. Usually, I like to start at the bottom. Nice, no, not too dark either. 
And sometimes I just take it and I just brush it up. That's like a quick and easy way to do your brows with pomade. And then brush it through. Yeah, I know we're gonna definitely clean them up some. You kinda wanna get the product laid onto the skin and in the hairs just to darken a bit. Okay, so, so far, I feel like the product is really clinging and applying very well to the hairs and to the skin that's in the back of the brows, because that matters. Sometimes I, I've used brow product before and it's just like not even clinging onto my skin randomly. I'm just like, mm, what's going on? And then just going in and create this tail. Sometimes I struggle with the tail, because man, they like different shapes, but this is going on. I mean, are y'all seeing this? I'm drawing this very easily. <laughs> I'm drawing this very easily. I feel like on my brow, it doesn't look as warm as it does in the pan. It's still giving like a nice brow shade, not like super warm, like a reddy brown, you know? Whoa. Do we love? Let me just say. I thought it was gonna take way longer to do my brows with this pomade. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be sitting here drawing, doing geometry child, because I haven't used the pomade in so long. And I tell you, I am not, my brow is on and we are ready to move on. I'm very happy about that. This product is like super kind of like easy and forgiving. You just throw it on the brow and it looks really good. Another benefit brush just to go in with 4.5 on the other eyebrow. Now we could very much so clean this off girl, very easy, get your brush cleaner, it's not a big deal. But you know, we fancy me on YouTube, come on, we're grabbing us a new clean brush and we're gonna go in with 4.5 on the other brow and we're gonna figure out which shade looks better on me. So putting four to the side, grabbing 4.5, That color looks beautiful. Nice and neutral. So like I say, I plant the brush here and just wipe up. And I do that for my brows because my brows are very sparse in the in the beginning of the brow. So I have to do that. Depending on what you like, of course you can grab a pencil and make those hair-like strokes in the beginning just to make them um, more fluffy. But we're going for a bold, sculpted, Pow brow, come on. I can see the difference in the brow shades. 4.5 is for me, you hear me? 4.5 is for your girl. My mom uses 4.5. She loves Benefits pencils. And she uses 4.5. Um, they actually was just, Ulta, the 21 Days of Beauty, it was just half off. I sent it to her, she went straight to Ulta and got the last 4.5 shade. She said it was no more. The lady found it for her and she was so happy. Now as you can see, this can do this can do the hair like strokes. I just gave us a little fluffy feel in the front of the brow. You know, so it's very versatile with whatever type of brow you're trying to apply. I love it. Is it obvious what shade I love best? You guys, I can't believe how quick this was. <laughs> I thought this video was gonna be like 30 minutes. It's not that at all. I like to carve out my brows with a Morphe M213. Small little brush, very precise. And today we can use some concealer at the bottom of the brow like I like to do. I'm gonna grab the Benefit Boing Concealer in shade number eight. This is Benefit's Hello Happy Foundation Stick. Um, this is also in the shade eight. I usually just take this, put a little bit on my brush, and I'm gonna use this to blend out the concealer. Just taking a shade that's really close to my complexion to tone down uh, that concealer bright shade and give us a little coverage on the lid, prep the eye, see that? and just blend everything to God. So the last step in our brow routine and in every brow routine, it should always end with the 
24 hour brow setter baby girl this is the brow setter of the universe i haven't tried another one that i like more than this one i've tried different ones i have you know a few different brands but they be getting crispy girl like hard like flaky i'm like well, wait a minute now i don't need my brows to be flaking this one has not done me wrong it'll lay these hairs down which color do you guys like best first of all now that i carved them out and everything they kind of looking both i can use both four or 4.5 this is 4.5 and four i'll maybe put it on the screen for a little bit of animation <laughs> but this is four and 4.5 and i think they both look really good i feel like i might gravitate more towards what did i know what, what y'all think comment down below let me know because i'm liking both of them so it, it's good to know if i just grab one i'm good to go i don't have to like be like oh i really need to use four today i really need to use 4.5 today like not really because they, they both serve enough goodness on your girl's skin tone okay and with my brow hairs and everything so yes you guys this is the final brow give this video a thumbs up and if you have not hit that subscribe button and you made it all the way to the end of the video i welcome you i thank you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the chic marie family and i will see you on my next video peace